interpreting the institution using sight responsive art a project by the UKZN School of Arts staff and students Center for Visual Arts and Drama Performance Studies this project was made possible by a grant from the Andrew Mellon Foundation Unsettling Space was a collaborative project at the University of KwaZulu Natal Students from the Center for Visual Arts and from the Drama and Performance Studies programs explored institutional space through site-responsive performances. The project aimed to explore decolonization in terms of symbolic and physical space on campus. Site-specific performances and installations have the potential to grow students' ownership of institutional space the Unsettling Space project culminated in a participatory arts event on the main campus in Peter Maritzburg. It was planned by staff and a group of students from different levels, from first years to PhD students. Third year students were instrumental in making it all happen on the day. All students passing by were invited to join in and express themselves freely. The Unsettling Space event created an opportunity for students to identify and respond to symbolic aspects of higher education they experienced as alienating. It aimed to literally occupy and unsettle the learning environment. Site-specific art created in a particular place can be collaborative and may cross established boundaries. The physical site can be used to explore symbolic relationships by highlighting stories, events, and the meanings of places for individuals who were in this case students. Although the aim was to explore decolonization within the university space, it was also an open-ended process with the students' experiences at the center. All the activities were planned by a group of staff and students in participatory discussions. After the site was determined, the idea of showing the tensions and stresses in students' lives was adopted to guide the activities of the event. The group wanted to make the invisible lines of tension visible, which led to the final concept of creating a web of lines in an open space. All students were invited to create artworks to hang on these lines during the event. In this way, they could express their experiences, hopes and fears. The event took place on October 18, 2018 and took just over an hour to complete. It was filmed and streamed live to enable the entire UKZN to observe. At first, it was visual arts students who led the way, but soon bystanders became enthusiastic participants. All the lines were filled, creating the visual effect of an occupied and transformed space. 229 paintings were created, showing a variety of visual messages using pictures and words. The content of these paintings was varied. Some related to the difficulties and hopes from higher education and the stresses of academic pressure. Many were about gender issues such as feminism, different masculinities, sexual orientation, the female body, and rape. Political views, religious statements, and black consciousness sat alongside images from popular culture. There were self-portraits, abstract works, slogans, and jokes. While many were positive, there were some that were negative or disturbing. Many aspects of the social realities of students were seen. This project suggests that site-specific performance or art events have great potential for advancing debates on the decolonization of universities at the local level. It has raised questions and stimulated ideas for how to enrich students' learning within and beyond structured curricula of different disciplines.
open-ended praxis may enable the centering of students' experiences within the broader narratives on the decolonial turn at individual institutions and higher education in general. This project was supported by a grant from the Mellon Foundation Supra Institutional Project on the Decolonial Turn and Settling Paradigm.